Good morning. This is me Nafisa. Today we will be learning about coamoxiclav that is combination of amoxicillin and clavulinic acid. Penicillin, the world's first antibiotic was discovered by Sir Alexander Fleming in 1928 for which he shared the Nobel Prize with Florey and Chain. Penicillin was used clinically in 1941. Even today, penicillin is the most frequently and widely used antibiotic. This is the structure of penicillins. Let's make it simple. There is a four-membered ring. This ring is called as beta-lactam ring. Attached to this beta-lactam ring is five-membered ring. This five-membered ring is known as thiozolidine ring. If beta-lactam ring is attached to thiozolidine ring, this forms an antibiotic penicillin. The basic structure of all penicillins is beta-lactam ring attached to thiozolidine ring. Out of the two rings, beta-lactam ring is most important ring in penicillins. It is because of this beta-lactam ring that penicillins can kill bacteria. If this beta-lactam ring is destroyed by bacteria, then penicillins is of no use. The most important part of penicillin's structure is the beta-lactam ring. Penicillin is an antibiotic. Antibiotic means it will kill bacteria. Penicillins have beta-lactam ring. Therefore, penicillins are called as beta-lactam antibiotics. Let's consider the first example. If there is bacteria and there is antibiotic penicillin, penicillin has beta-lactam ring. This beta-lactam ring will kill the bacteria. Therefore, infection is treated. Let's consider second example. Bacteria will develop mechanisms to overcome the action of antibiotics. To protect itself, bacteria produces an enzyme. Enzyme is suffixed as ASE, ACE which destroys the beta-lactam ring. Therefore, this enzyme is called as beta-lactamase. Now, this bacteria is producing beta-lactamase. This beta-lactamase will destroy the beta-lactam ring of antibiotic penicillin. Therefore, now antibiotic is destroyed and has no action on bacteria. That is, we say bacteria has developed resistance to antibiotic. Bacteria which produces beta-lactamase enzyme are called as resistant bacteria. Resistant bacteria produces resistant infections. Resistant infections causes severe infections. Consider the third example. Penicillin is a very good antibiotic but is destroyed in presence of beta-lactamase enzyme. Therefore, to protect penicillins, we will send bodyguard along with penicillin. Examples of bodyguard is clavulinic acid. Bodyguard inhibits the beta-lactamase enzyme. So the mode of action of clavulinic acid is beta-lactamase inhibitor. Now only resistant bacteria and penicillin antibiotics are present. So the beta-lactam ring in penicillins destroys the resistant bacteria. Let's learn classification of penicillins. The first generation of penicillins examples are penicillin G and penicillin V. Spectrum of activity is narrow spectrum that is kills gram positive bacteria. Characteristics of first generation of penicillins is penicillin G is not active orally and is susceptible to beta lactamases. When I say susceptible to beta lactamases means if bacteria is producing beta-lactamase enzyme, then the antibiotic is destroyed and therefore this antibiotic cannot kill bacteria and hence infection cannot be treated. Disadvantages of the first generation of penicillins are narrow spectrum, not active orally and not stable to beta-lactamases. Therefore, Second generation of penicillins were discovered. Second generation of penicillins examples are cloxacillin and dicloxacillin. 
Spectrum of activity is narrow spectrum that is kills gram positive bacteria. Characteristics of second generation of penicillins is active orally and stable to beta lactamases of gram positive bacteria. So second generation of penicillins there are two advantages and two disadvantages. The two advantages are active orally and stable to beta lactamases. The two disadvantages are narrow spectrum therefore can be used for only some infections and not all and the second disadvantage is stable to beta lactamases of only gram positive bacteria. To overcome these disadvantages came the third generation of penicillins. The third generation of penicillin examples are ampicillin and amoxicillin. Spectrum of activity is broad spectrum that is kills gram positive bacteria, gram negative bacteria except pseudomonas. Characteristics of the third generation of penicillins is active orally and not stable to beta lactamases. There are two advantages and two disadvantages of the third generation of penicillins. The advantages are broad spectrum of activity and active orally. The disadvantages are does not kill pseudomonas, therefore can be used only in day-to-day -day infections and not used for hospital infections. As we all know that pseudomonas causes hospital infections. The second disadvantage is not stable to beta lactamases, therefore can be used only in day-to-day -day infections and not for resistant infections. Therefore came the fourth generation of penicillins. The fourth generation of penicillin examples are piperacillin. Spectrum of activity is extended spectrum that is kills gram positive bacteria, gram negative bacteria including pseudomonas. Characteristics of fourth generation of penicillins is not active orally and susceptible to beta lactamases. Advantages of fourth generation of penicillins are kills gram positive bacteria, gram negative bacteria including pseudomonas and anaerobes. Therefore can be used for hospital infections and in all life threatening infections. Moreover piperacillin is available in injectable form so of advantage since it has to be used in hospital infections. Disadvantage of the fourth generation of penicillins is not stable to beta lactamase therefore cannot be used in resistant hospital infections. Best antibiotic amongst four generations of penicillins for day-to-day -day infections is amoxicillin. Rational for the combination of amoxicillin and clavulinic acid. Amoxicillin is a broad spectrum beta lactam antibiotic with good action against gram positive and gram negative bacteria. However, if resistant bacteria are present, that is, the bacteria which produces beta lactamase enzyme, then amoxicillin is destroyed by beta lactamases and therefore amoxicillin cannot kill bacteria and hence infection cannot be treated. As mentioned earlier, Resistant bacteria causes severe infections. So, in severe infections, we need to give a beta lactam antibiotic that is amoxicillin and clavulinic acid which is a beta lactamase inhibitor. Clavulinic acid is a bodyguard which will inhibit beta lactamase enzyme that is, clavulinic acid protects amoxicillin from beta lactamase enzyme and amoxicillin in turn will kill resistant bacteria. Thus, coamoxiclam is a drug of choice in resistant infections or severe infections. Thank you so much. Happy learning.